What's good, love? What's good? Nothing. It is Sunday. We normally don't do this on a Sunday, but we've had a, a eventful weekend, haven't we? Yes, we have. We are the Moranies. I am Diami, and you are Mimi. And uh, you're either listening to us on Spotify, or you're catching us on Facebook, or anywhere else that they have quality podcasts. So we appreciate you from Jump. Um, so yeah, we were busy, busy weekend. Um, for those that follow me on social media, and someone doesn't use social media anymore but it's always on my social media um i posted pictures of our little i'm not gonna call it a garden yet we'll call it a collection of things we hope to grow because we we're doing the pot method right Mm -hmm. um can you speak into the microphone love no i said yeah no you're to the left of the microphone can you dip your head all right here yeah there you go. What are you laughing at? No, nah, nothing. I'm just. <clears throat> you ain't even started yet. You already somewhere else. I know it's because I'm distracted. Like you over here. You don't tell me to put down my phone. Okay. All right. Yes, it's been a crazy week. So I was talking about our garden. Our garden. Yes. Our collection I was getting of there. Yes. Go ahead. Get. Get to getting. How do you feel? Because you were apprehensive about this. I was only because I've tried before and I haven't been successful. So, so, um, I was just like, oh, here we go again. But then, you being able to sprout a seed, like, to me, it was fucking amazing. Because, like, why? Because you didn't give me. You didn't think I'd be able to do it. No, or? because I love that. It's just okay. life. Yeah. You know, something living, something new, something you know. This fucking crazy world, like so, you know, yeah. a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh. That's air. what it feels yeah. like. Yeah. No. 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 Definitely. I, so, I definitely agree. So um, um, in regards to that, it feels like I'm unprofessional. No. No. That was an email I got. I forgot to turn I'm my phone down. Yes. I'm sorry. But no, it was good to sprout that. But go ahead. You said a new, a new fresh, fresh breath. Yeah. So it was. So I was like, okay, you know, I mean, we can do this. I'm like, if this motherfucker can sprout a seed, there then we go. I, I, <laughs> I was waiting for the sneak this. Then, um, yeah, we can do this. So I was like, okay, let's start. Let's start off small. Right. Because I don't want to go crazy, and you know, something I really been wanting to do, but didn't want to be like fully committed because. I didn't have the time and right, and we're making know. this a family thing. You know, Diami's into it. I'm super hyped. You're hyped. Your mom kind of hyped. Your dad's kind of like whatever about it. But we're making it a family thing, and especially mm-hmm. an you, me, and Diami thing to make sure that we're out enjoying each other, enjoying the time with each other, and uh, you know, doing something that he can learn to survive on. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? As far as being able to plant, and, you know. And, and, and make your own, you know, make your own food be sustainable. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's tell everybody what we have. So you have lettuce mix. Yeah, so far. I'm not. Mm, I don't think that's gonna make it. I don't think so either. I'm I'm gonna wait on those and get it ready. Not trying to hide, hate, but yeah. Yeah, get it ready. Like I don't think I. I. It's just it got too hot out here. Yeah, it did. My back is all burnt. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah. You got. You, I need me an umbrella. I'm sorry. But if you're going to be having me doing this hard work, right. then I need an umbrella. Okay. I'll take care of you. Um, <clears throat> something I can roll. Something you can roll? Yeah, like a you know rolling my carpet umbrella? Tunnel, my carpet tunnel. Yes. Like you want an umbrella on wheels? Yes. I don't want to have to be, you know. You were a white lady from the South in your past lives. Your name was like... Betha. That's, like that's that. offensive. It's not offensive. It's a joke. You can't take the heat. You want, you you want uh, big umbrellas while us colored folk are out in the field working, and you're under the shade. I mean, I got me an AC. It's the same situation. You want an like, AC to, you outside? Know, no, I don't. I'm saying inside. Okay, but we so, outside. Yeah, we outside. So the working conditions had to be have to be satisfactory. Okay, because. Your ancestors right now are looking at you crazy. No, do you not? Okay, tell me this. Yes. Do I'll you not you. want your son, My our son. son, our son? Yes. 
to be uh, to have better things in you to for of him of course to do. Yes. i do yes so what does that have to do my with ancestors you? want the same <laughs> shit for me <laughs> All right, you got me on that one. I, so okay, but anywho, anywho I yeah. want wheels. So you want an umbrella on wheels? I don't even know if they. Yo, if you're listening to the show, all look, of, have this fool uh, right here. Buy some casters and put an umbrella base on it. Have it welded, and I could just roll it around. Have my dad go talk to the welder right here. You know how much? That's just what. Not worth it. You got to Not son. worth Listen, me ha- You, you gotta, know my family already suffers from skin cancer. So are ah, you going to go? There we go. Are you? <laughs> she hit me that with, didn't even fucking She hit me with the family got skin cancer line. Like, damn. No, I'm not lying. I didn't say line. Oh. I said line. Like, that's where you took it? Shit, go ahead. I, I already got something to mind, but I'm not going to say nothing. So, um... So we have some lettuce. Well, whatever it is, but we have yeah, some lettuce. the R.I.P. soon to be R.I.P. lettuce because <laughs> I ain't gonna invest in those anymore. R.I.P. We just killed the lettuce. So, so I wanna. Um, yeah, we got that. We got lettuce. We got. I I planted garlic. Yes. I planted, and this is from stuff we had at home. Right, which is so, super dope. We did buy some stuff, but we started with a lot yeah, of stuff that we, we had bought at home. all the chiles tomato we already had another tomato there so all i needed was just fertilizer and and um to get you know to get it uh to get it uh that original tomato plant how long had we had it like at least a year or two it, yeah it had been out there just like chilling and just recently had yeah. it yeah and then recently your mom and them started my dad the, started dad you know showing attention and then you went in there and like I put some photos online. You tied it up and everything like that. I was just watching you. I should have made it looser though. I, I think I made it to tie. I have to go back well, in you there. Can go back and adjust as it grows. But it was dope watching mother with mother nature. You know what I mean? And you do your thing and you're like, oh, I don't have this green thumb or whatever. And I'm just watching you put it together. You know? Now and that then, I took off my nails. Yeah, you took your nails off. So uh, you're, you're out there uh, ready to get in the dirt, get to grinding. And over the past day. That tomato has really responded. Mm-hmm. And I'm waiting for my uh, seaweed, seaweed oil, and um, for my fish. Well, no, what, is that what was, I said? Yeah, I it was fish oil. You fish sort oil. Of fish, uh, fish oil, and you also got some sort of. Uh, uh, what'd you say? It was seaweed oil? Mm-hmm. And if anybody out there grows. Uh, herb at the crib. Holla at me. I need a, I need to know a good nutrient. I need to go into a, a good nutrient. I have one little seed or sapling I grew from a, from just some random herb seeds I had collected over like the last couple years or whatever. I said, you know what? I saw a video online. Saw the dude grow them, um, just sitting them in water, and uh, put them in a damp towel. They end up sprouting. I threw them in the dirt, and one of them popped today. So I'm hoping a couple more of them pop. I understand that I need to get females, because only females will, you know, make the the buds or whatever. So this is brand new to me. I know a couple people that used to do it, but I was never around it every day. Um, so I don't know the ins and outs. So it's just fun to do it and go through it and see what happens. I'm not expecting to do anything, but if it, I can twist up my own, that'd be dope. And that's, I think, at the end of the day, I think that is the plan for this little thing that we're doing. This garden is we have strawberries, we have chiles. Oh yeah, um, strawberries. You have. I'll be, uh, I'll be forgetting about the strawberries. You, you uh, but, did you plant onions? Or you're going to? No, plant I have them. Um, I have them in um, the the onions here in the in the house. I have. Uh, I really want to get that. Uh, that I'm soaking in water for. I really I'm really soaking that, uh, for a week. That huero chili. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. To nah, I just really I'll the older it, it gets, tomorrow. the better. I just need to gut it and then you know try to pop it in the water mm-hmm. and uh, see what happens mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. Don't be, uh, 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 you had your opportunity. And you yeah, it, huh? I, I'm, I got uh, fucking heat stroke, uh, and you still uh, want me to uh, all day yesterday. My back was just burning. I felt listen, it. Listen, I'll get you the you know old and then I lady. Had heat stroke, man. I'm, I, and I, you had me without any water inside. You know what I'll do is I'll get you the old lady um hat. 
You know what I'm talking about? The one that come way down to your knees. I'll get you that hat. You'll be out in the garden looking like, you know, Ma <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> Tito. Come, Tito. Go get Mabel that garden shovel. But I'm excited, and we'll see where it goes. I want to, you know, we've, we're have we going to dedicate that little back area. You're going to put a fence to kind of block off yeah, the, June. If this goes if, if this, this yeah no um, we're not doing this overnight we're gonna go ahead and get it established but um, you know if we succeed with this and i see i should have measured these plants because i can't i really can't see if something gets bigger or not you'll notice you'll you're gonna come out like i came out this morning i was like oh shit i got a little thing here and then throughout the day it grew i was like oh man so i'm wondering what happened to the others maybe they're not able to push through i don't know if i should go in there and peek for them to see if there's a little branch I don't know. I'm going to give it another day. I hope. When does it rain? Tuesday? Um, it rains. Oh, no, it's windy on Tuesday. We got to close the umbrella. Yeah. And um, So we got to move the plants inside. In the, yeah, in the plant. And we could put them right here. There's this little light right here. No, I think that works better. You think this side's better? Yeah, but we'll put them by some lights and our chilis and everything like that. So I'm excited. And we will definitely keep you guys posted. Like I said, if you grow anything at your crib. Mm -hmm. Any uh, tips, yes. Please hit us. Shout out to uh, David on Facebook. He hit me with some uh, onion. Or no, he hit me with some tomato and uh, and herb uh, little secrets. My boy uh, Dub um, laced me with some. Um, the uh, Man, just a lot of people. My mom's. Uh, told me pull the lettuce out of the sun. We had watched a video of some dude, and he had his lettuce in full sun, and it wasn't even that hot. It was 80ish, but when the summer, it's you know it gets yeah. 118. So that's another thing. We got to figure out what we're gonna do in the summer when it gets hot. It wasn't vegetables from California. <laughs> I don't know if vegetable. And you're talking about me being uh, insensitive. And you that was Eli. That's what we started calling him. Oh, see, right look, now, now you put your brother it. on. You, yes. Two episodes in a row, you put your brother on blast. Shout out to Eli and Leslie. Speaking of Eli and Leslie, so um, I put a new piece of art on the wall, put my first ever, or the first ever, Halo Marie 101 up on the wall. And uh, for those that don't know, that's my niece. She's a little artiste. And uh, it's She's a really, really dope picture of uh, these cats on a sunny day. But what I find really dope about it is the picture itself is black. So you only see the uh you only see the light of the cats and everything that's going on they're like playing in the grass and and whatnot and then you see a sun so to me it says that even in dark you will still see the light you know because you look at it and you see these cats playing on a sunny day these animals outside you don't think of the fact that the b background of this picture is black you see the color you see the life in it mm-hmm so that's just me tripping but uh I, you know shout out to her and uh put her up on uh our art wall i'm looking to get some new art too so if you're a dope artist holla at your boy you know um yeah we need we some always, new pieces well, i'm always looking for pieces i'm most likely gonna go ahead and tech and get some new work but uh you know i'm looking for other stuff too i want to put more stuff up so holla at your boy so uh el presidente your boy, Trumpito. We all know was convicted um, over what happened at uh, the Capitol. Uh, so far, five folks have lost their lives. Uh, I want to say this, maybe a couple hundred arrests or whatnot. And uh, people have stepped away from him now, and uh, that in his own party, and no longer, um, you know, are messing with him. Um, with everything going on today. They busted a dude trying to get into the Capitol with a fake Capitol pass and had 500 rounds of uh, ammo on him. He was trying to get past security to put that shit, you know, that shit inside and he got popped. So with everything going on, how do you feel? Do you feel safe right now or are you are you are you getting caught up in, in what, you know, the buzz is? The, I don't want to say the media because. You can go other places that aren't media places and you can see people talking crazy. Mm -hmm. So it isn't like CNN is I, the one that's I mean, pushing this. This is this is this is real. This exists. So I'm asking you, how do you personally feel about it? I don't think I've, I don't feel scared. I mean, I guess because we're at home, mm -hmm. too. 
we're not really all I'm doing is going grocery shopping. That's it. Right. I'm not going anywhere. And besides, you know, our, our Lowe's trip. Right. But Yeah, we're not out and about, we're not making runs and we're not we're not at any of these protests or political events and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, you know, I understand people have the right to protest. Do I believe it's the right time now with the way that COVID is running wild? I do not. But again, it's your right to, to do what you do. And if people want to gather and do those type of things, then, you know, that's on them. Take precautions and, and, and be well. But I agree with you. I'm not I'm not scared. Um, it's just it's just sad that there's all this tension, you know, and I don't feel like the capital was the boiling point. I feel like, unfortunately, there's more to that because this hasn't died down. I think the capital is only up the stakes and has angered more people and it's crazy when you look at these dudes online that are the leaders of the proud boys and all these little groups that are like fake white supremacist groups they're married to women of color Mm -hmm. a couple of them are black women one of them i think is uh you know like an indian i think one a couple of them are hispanic women and they are down with the narrative that these cats are pushing it's just it's just crazy to me and it and again it goes way past skin color it's just really about a mentality and a hatred and a sickness that you have to have you know to not understand that people are people but um it's wild so you know if you out there if you plan to go to any of these protests stay at home stay at home um it's crazy out there right now you fighting whatever's happening out there in the political environment and then whatever's happening out there in the medical environment so we have less than a couple days of uh, Trumpito 60% of Americans polled recently said that they disapprove of the job he did while he was in office like I mentioned before he was impeached um, the district inter- attorneys in Manhattan have expanded their case looking into uh, the family and how they uh, claimed pro- uh, real estate values and uh, that were higher than what the property was worth and basically were able to pay um, you know less taxes uh, because they're paying more taxes based on the value of these in, uh, inflated properties so they're looking into that and then it was just announced this, uh, our, this evening right before that we were recording that supposedly he's going to give out a hundred pardons. Uh, Trump, he's going to pardon a hundred people um, a couple days before he bounces. Now, allegedly, because I don't have any facts, this is all mm-hmm. the media, the, the big media corporations, the Foxes and the and the CNNs will put their spin on this. But supposedly he is selling these. Are you serious? That is what they're saying. I, I mean so let me ask you this what if if would you how would you feel would you if you had the money let's say it was two million dollars to buy a pardon from the president and you had a pardon me and we had the money would you do it That's a long ass pause, and you're not. No, texting. I mean, would you do it? Yes. Okay. Well, fuck, of course. So, so I mean, I have a problem with him selling them. I mean, I don't have a problem with him pardoning pardoning his family, because ever anybody would do that. Now, I don't know in the Constitution. Supposedly, there's something where that can't be done, but. They say he's probably going to do that. So he's probably going to include his family and all his friends in his pardon. And then he'll sell off the pardons to, you know, whoever has the money. Kodak Black's been trying to get out of jail. He might just have $2 or $2, $2 million sitting around. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. There's some. There was another rapper, too, that's locked up. Oh, Little, Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Little Wayne got two mil. You could buy a pardon for two, two mil. So, you know. It's a dirty game, and he's exposed what he's done. Is he did come and he said what he was going to do was, you know, change government and all this kind of stuff, and he did. He exposed 
a lot of stuff that went on behind closed doors. He made it public, um, you know, within his party, with, within the Democratic Party as well. And uh, he was able to get everybody to show their ugly side. And now it's in plain view. So you can see both sides. You can see the ugly shit that both sides did in this whole entire fiasco. And we can just hope that, I don't know, a a magic dust comes down across our country and people start acting like they're not Republicans, they're not Democrats, and they focus on us, the people. So let me ask you. They're going to try to impeach Trump. They're going to send him to trial. What would you, do you think that is a good waste or do you think that's a good spending of our time for 2021? Or do you think we should be you once he's out of office? Do you think we should just fast forward, get his ass out of here? You no longer exist. No, I'm sure they want to get him to a point where where they don't want for him to run for presidency again. Right. That's a valid point. You good know, point. but yeah. would I make that priority? No. There, you know, coronavirus is priority right now. Right, right. You know, and all these people that lost their jobs, that close their fucking close their businesses. Yeah, shout out to Miss Vicky. Yeah, it's it's sad. Very sad. You know. You know, so you know, yeah, it, it's something that can be done, but focus most of the energy towards. Right. What's really priority right now? Yeah, and that is the coronavirus, and it is, it is getting crazy out there. Thankfully, uh, seniors can now get vaccinated, um, and uh, so if you have a senior uh, in your family or someone that you come in contact with that is, uh, you know, elderly or senior, please call on their behalf, and and if you believe in the vaccine, set them up for, uh, set them up for, um, you know. An appointment again that's if you believe in that um but uh yeah this new form of the virus supposedly um is stronger quicker and they're saying that uh that that i think it is virus resistant to 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 the new vaccine or whatever so Mm -hmm. it almost kind of makes it like you ask yourself do I get vaccinated for this and then wait for the other? Or do I just take my chances? You know, it's just crazy. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. And and they anticipate for a couple more months for things to be rocky and then hopefully there to be a drop. So whenever I just feel like whenever there's a drop, it spikes back up. Yeah. Like, how would you feel if if Newsom just said, look, you guys can't come back outside until. June. So that's February, March, April, May. That's f- that's like five months, five more months in the house. But I mean, fuck! Like, what's gonna happen to these businesses? Yeah, no. I mean, this is this money that Biden is or supposedly these gonna be sending that. Run the businesses, the employees, right. the, you know, the, the lives, the lives that that helped that place run mm-hmm. the people. Yeah. Biden supposedly is going to send people fourteen hundred dollars per dependent. Um, So that's not a lot of money still. So they need to find ways to let these people do their jobs. So if it's an unlimited capacity, you need to make that happen. And I really think that needs to come down to the local government. Because at the end of the day, these are what, there hasn't been a national mandate, but these have, it's been up to the governors. And in a lot of places, you know, I think that if you can do it right, you know, there's a lot of businesses here in Chino where we had Korean barbecue one day. You know? So it's possible. You just have to have the space in order to go ahead and do it and the concept to go ahead and pull it off. And maybe the government, maybe the government has some sort of loan, not even a loan, just some sort of payment to you if you're willing to do these things. 
this is what we have for your, you know, you, you can use these, 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 these things. Um, you know, here's an outside cooking station, whatever the situation may be. Government manufactures it. Government sell or government gives it away to these, to these, to these places. So you don't lose a lot of money on it. And what happens is you keep these economies stimulated so you don't have to spend big money bailing people out. Instead, you're providing them things because people want to work. People, You know, there's a lot of people out there that want handouts, but there's a lot of people who want to work. There's a lot of people who want to work, especially now because they understand. They look around and they see the people in their lives losing their jobs. You know, I go into work every day and I'm like, yo, you got to get it because... You know, you got a little fat head and a and a lovely wife <laughs> and two old grump, grumpy people to take care of. So you got to go in there and you got to get it. And so I'm thankful for that because a lot of people can't. They're trying to figure out how to get it. So it's a it's a crazy time right now. You know, speaking of crazy, the the manatee that had Trump written on it. Somebody took this poor manatee out of Florida and then somehow carved the name Trump in it and then threw it back into the water. It was rescued. And uh, Guardian of the Galaxy star, WWE Hall of Famer Batista has put up a he's a he's a Floridian. He put up 20 G's to for info on whoever went ahead and did it to, to the manatee. And so this is crazy. I was talking about crazy people and how they're attached. 20 G's? Yeah, 20 G's. So if you know who did the... the would you snitch? to If you knew the person that... How that, much time would you get, babe? I would never do that to no fucking animal. No, I'm saying. I'll say it was you. And I'm supposed to take that type of charge? I'm supposed to... For $20,000, I got to live the rest no. of my life as the manatee uh, defacer. People get hey yo, people get really oh, worked up about animals. Really worked up. I I know Tito, I told I was telling him, I'm like, dude, he's like, Mom, it doesn't even live in the ocean. <laughs> Cause I was like, Oh, they took out a they found a, a manatee. And somebody car like took it out of the ocean and car he's like, Mom, you're lying because they don't even live in the ocean. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker. And um, I'm like, well, whatever. I'm just telling you what yeah. what, I, what I read. Okay, if they don't, where they live then? That's what I told him. And he's like, oh, they live like in a river or something. Yeah, they live in like fresh water. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so I was like, this. Okay. I'm like, all right. Well, Swamp the area. point is that they, they, um, they, they call it the potato of the, Potato of the the of the sea or something like that. The potato. So why that. doesn't it live in the sea then? Because uh, they kind of live in like marsh where it's kind of salt water See, slash fresh water. Have you over here yeah. feeling stupid? You're not. But, but go ahead. But he um. But yeah, he uh, he just like stormed off. But it's it's sad. It's it's sad for for um, I mean. For you'd have would, to explain you, to your child why I mean, no, somebody why would do would that. You, no, why would you? Why would somebody do that? Like, what's the purpose of it? Either they were trying to, you know, do something to make Trump look bad, or it was one of his crazy fanatics. Either way, it was a fanatic. You either have so much hatred for Donald Trump that you carved Trump in a manatee to, and threw it in the water so people would see it and he would get bad publicity, or you're crazy enough to think that is funny and. You're a fan mm -hmm. of him and you, you know, you, you'll be here forever, you know, and throw him in the water. Either way, you're fanatical and you deserve your, you deserve your ass whipped. And that just shows how crazy people are willing to go and how much how disrespectful they are, uh, are willing to be. Aren't those motherfuckers like a thousand pounds and shit? They're heavy. So it's so how a, they pull it out. It was probably a couple drunk dudes who did it. Thought it was funny. Assholes and animals in pain. Why? So you can make a point. So you can be funny. It, it, there's no, there's no answer. And there's a special place for people like that. And those people really, truly deserve their ass whooped. Like in Singapore, they used to cane motherfuckers. And there was this kid from the United States who went over there and 
I think threw gum on the street or spray painted on the wall or something. So they caught his ass and they took him to court and he was guilty and he had to be caned like three or four times. And it's like a big, long ass cane. So everybody here in America was outraged. Like, you can't cane him and all this kind of shit. And they were trying to get, I think, Jesse Jackson tried to go save this nigga or something like that. And the end result was his ass got caned and they sent his ass home. So it's like people that do stuff like that to animals deserve to get their ass caned. They definitely do. Imagine the outrage. No, they were hot. They were hot. This happened like in the late 80s, early 90s. No, and I'm they saying were hot. here. Like, imagine like that would never happen. What, caning? Yes. Well, they just killed some people this past week. You know, I, I, cane, it's, graffiti and murder are two different things. But no, I mean, cor- corporal punishment like that is in, in not down here doesn't go like that anymore. Because people are too soft when it comes to that. But out there... I'm sure he got, you know, they probably had that on national TV. They were showing that in replay, his little cheeks getting caned up, you know. So that's a that's a good way to scare people. Could you imagine if you did something, you got caned on national TV? <laughs> Tito would never, ever do anything wrong. So we were talking about the COVID relief bill. And within the COVID relief bill, there was a something that was written in saying that the government had to declassify files on UFOs. Mm-hmm. So there are a couple hundred, maybe a thousand pages online of uh, these UFO documents. So let's say tomorrow you wake up, the news comes on and and it's President Biden telling us that. Or Trump telling us that he know our aliens are real showing videos you know him just telling us they're real how does that change your life I mean I don't I think I always felt there's something out there you know but I think my first concern would be like, all right, how much do we know about these other beings and what do they want? Like, or what are are they looking for something or what? We cool or is there beef? (laughs) Is there like, yeah, what's up? Let me know what's up. Um, yeah, that would probably be, or they lock their doors as they pass earth. Oh, is that what they do? Like, like what, what is it? Uh, what if they just said, Hey, you know what? We have the power to blow everything up, but we're good right now. Continue to live your little measly lives. And they left never to return. (laughs) Would it be always in the back of your mind that one day the aliens are going to come out of the sky once you've seen them? Or would it be out of sight, out of mind? Would it go back to, Regular, or would you always look up in the sky thinking that you know what are they gonna come? No, I mean, because no, I mean, I, I don't think so. Would it change your belief on religion? It, because the Bible, of course, doesn't mention uh a- aliens unless you believe the dudes on ancient aliens. Um, and then everything, and I and I believe in aliens, so let me just say that right now. Um, but ancient aliens, we have me rolling like spaghetti. <laughs> Did you know, if you look at this ravioli, it looks like a UFO. And the dude be like, if you invert it, you tell me what it is. Oh, and alien experts Alien experts say that this ravioli looks just like a UFO. They always say that shit, alien experts. never, <laughs> And then they never have no experts. It's just like some random cat that still lives with his mama and eats pretzel and drink pop. Watching Friends, because he ain't got no friends. But again, I'm into the solar system. I believe about life on other planets. Uh, some of these cats is, is way goofy, though. But would it change your thoughts on 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 religion? No, I mean, I mean to to me, religion is more like a culture. Okay. You know, I um. You know, I believe in God. I, I do. 
Because you but associate just, belief and religion differently. Yes. Same way I do. Like, you know, Catholicism so need, to me is, yeah. is at this point, it's it's a part of Latino culture. Mm-hmm. You know, as And I mean, to me, that's, a, that's, the old, that's the only way I know how to pray besides speaking to him. Yeah. You know, so to me, I mean, with my with my mom and Tito I mean I don't I don't mind that shit no I don't either I, I think I think Diamond needs to be exposed to as much as possible and you know I like that connection that they have and again it's part of his culture so I'm not gonna rob him of that because I you know I don't have that connection or I don't have that belief as he gets older I can then give him my point of view but there's no reason for me to give him my point of view right now at that such young age I want him to experience things um you know that we control but go ahead yeah no no i thought you were gonna just go into the cultural aspect of it no, but no, no. so when so knowing that there's uh aliens would not change your your belief no i mean i don't know yeah it would definitely make me rethink the meaning of life so to speak you know, and what happens, you know, mm-hmm. because let's say they're aliens and let's say there is heaven. What happens? Do aliens go to heaven? Is there alien heaven? Are they up in heaven with us? No, I'm just saying, I mean, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If, if, if God created all life and aliens live, are they up there? I don't know. You know? We chilling with T Rex. So, something I found out: fellas are giving women presents for having babies in 2020, and I guess they've been doing this for a while. It's called a push present. Mm-hmm. People are giving out purses, cars, like the rap dudes and stuff like that. They're just doing the most. Uh, regular guys are, you know, giving out rings and 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 things. Bring them out, bring them out. So, how, as a woman, how do you feel about the push present? Is that mandatory? I'm, I'm giving you a child. You have to buy me something when, you know, the day of the delivery of the baby. Where's my Chanel bag? No. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything from you. Right. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, to me, like our child, that would be the, you know, the gift. Like, what more than that do you want? And not, not only that, but it's not, um, I mean, I don't know, for me to, for you to come and be like, oh, I bought you this, like, really? That's not me, right, you know, right, right, to right, me, right. like, OK, you know, flowers that, yeah. you know, that would be cute, you know, or or um, t- something simple as that. I mean, I know you're very you're um, you have a lot your, of gratitude. You're like when you do food, things, something that you're going to go ahead yeah. and enjoy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's I think this push present and all this type of weird stuff that goes on. I think it's now motivated by like Instagram. And it's mo- it's motivated by being able to post something. Look, look, look what look what I got. I got mm-hmm. this. Put you know, there's all these little challenges and stuff that are out there. And it's just I think it's it's that's the motivation. The motivation is to be noticed and to stand out. And uh, I'm not against treating your woman as you know, but to make it a a thing for a thing. Is mm-hmm. just like I feel like when you incent kids for every little thing they do. Oh, you put your shoes on. Here's a dollar. Oh, you put this on. And then they associate with I. Every time I do something, I should get something. Not understanding that sometimes you're gonna do something and get nothing, other than the experience, or the entertainment. You know. So I don't know. Push presents. That's uh. I was shocked when I was reading it. I was just like, yeah, this kind of seems like, are you having babies to get gifts? You know? 
And it's all stuff like bags and cars and like take that and 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 you know get your baby you know like a, 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 a educational fund or something with that money. That's a hell of a push present. You know what I mean? Or open up a business for her if you you know buy in. I don't know what these bags cost, but do something for her that uh, for the baby and for you. You know, foundation. Well, Cardi said forty four thousand. No, for what? A purse. For that's crazy. You can you know put that down in the CD for your kid. Let that start making some money. Shit, I would be grateful for that. You know, I want to put uh once we pay this debt off on the credit card, I want to put Diami on our credit card. Start building his credit history. So by the time he's eighteen, he'll be brolic. Ready to go. A1 since day one. Google it. If you don't if you don't know, Google it, my love. So before we get out of here, let's talk about these cats that have to be sick. Sick. Uh Bitcoin. Shout out to uh Wendy and Angel. And also shout out to them with the I don't know if I shouted them out. They were giving me they were giving me big facts on the on the trees. Um but uh one man had 70 million worth of bitcoin in a hard drive he threw it in the trash now i think he's offering like 20 million dollars to to for whoever can find it another dude has 220 million in bitcoin and he's down to his last two attempts to try to unlock his password if not he loses it all so I've always been in, interested in these Bitcoin type shits, but I would see them out and about where you could use them for and get little. There was a Bitcoin ATM at that farmer's market we went to and we bought those chiles. Shout out to them. But um, I don't really see it out a lot. And I know like McDonald's can use, but it's a lot of places I don't fuck with. So I didn't understand where, how this money had value if you can't spend it how is it valuable to you you know you have the money but if you can't spend it what is the value can't withdraw it and put it in your own account and becomes real money what is the value Mm -hmm. so imagine that 220 million dollars and you have two attempts Mm -mm. on your password and if it's real money why can't you just say hey you know what Here's my ID. This is me. Give me my money. Rather than, oh, you have two more attempts and you're and you're locked out. What? <clears throat> Why can't you ver- verify me somewhere, somewhere, uh, some other way? Why am I going to lose my money? Because I can't identify myself the way you want me to right now. Like you lose it all. Not we're suspending the count. Put it to the side. Show us your ID. Bring your birth certificate. Tag yourself on Facebook. You know, like he's losing it all. You're laughing, but shit, two hundred and twenty million. Could you imagine? How pissed would you be? You had two two attempts. I'll be fucking heated. And I'll be heated when I be forgetting my. Email addresses and shit. <laughs> I always say I'm going to save it and I never do. Yeah. I wonder if that shit expires. And there isn't some... You know what? I would... Do you know what I would do? <sighs> no, because then you lose it all. I would say I'd pay a hacker to find out what it is. But if the hacker got your password, your shit is gone. But man, $220 million, That is... That is nuts. Hopefully uh, tomorrow we need to buy a, a mega a mega lotto ticket because I think it's up to like seven eight hundred million dollars. I ain't gonna be buying this shit every fucking day, every fucking. No, time let's in. just let's just play a couple weeks, see what happens. Pay a little five here, a little five there. Now I said that buck that bought the bottle could have struck the lotto. What would you do if you almost had not, after taxes? I think it was like six. Let's say six hundred fifty million dollars. What would you do? Mm-hmm. 
definitely something that will take care of our son in the future. Something okay. for him, something for him to be able to, whether it's... Would you be like Matt Damon? Would you buy him a zoo? <laughs> so we bought a zoo, the hood edition. <laughs> it's our pit bull area right here. <laughs> You'd be making your own little zoo. <laughs> it's our pot belly pig area. <laughs> Whatever. Right over here's fa- the fainting goats. Over here's an English Mastiff area. <laughs> and over here's the husbands that don't listen. Why would the husbands that don't listen be in cages? <laughs> See? I told you, white lady from the South. You want that bullshit? That's your Spanish blood. Whatever. But no, if you had that 650, what would you do? I mean, like I said, Something make for sure Diami. our son's taken care of. Yeah. We definitely would set up some, you know... You know, and trust and make sure he's straight. Talking about Allie for would you. would definitely move out of here, I think. You would move out of our house? I thought you loved this place. No, I'll keep it. Uh, who would live here? You would rent but, it out? Um, or no, no one would live here? Just have a caretaker. Uh, who would it be? You'd find like a, a caretaker? you yeah. put an ad out? I need a caretaker. No, somebody that's willing to uh, to um live here. take care of it. You know, uh, rent free, but you got it, you know. Yeah. What was my man's name in Palm Springs? Whenever, oh yeah, Raj. Raj, you have your Raj just bouncing. But through whenever you know we come, you you know you you know you gotta. You gotta leave. Yeah. Damn. You know I'll get you somewhere to stay. So would you let Jimmy be the caretaker? Um. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. he ain't gotta leave. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking Jimmy. You'd be like, yeah, Jimmy, you gotta go. But I'm sure. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he won't want to be living here. You got your uh, a house with a pool and it'd be rent free. Shit, I would drive. If he's working in Fontana, let's say I would drive the forty five minutes every day. Think about currently to where you know that's a that's a blessing in my opinion. But I mean, we're just being hypothetical. So, what would be your biggest splurge for yourself? You talked about you know. Buying a house for every, you know, for us. But what would you do solely for you with that type of money? What's something you would finally have the money to do? Something you've always wanted to do, and now I have the money to do it. Because we'd split it three twenty five for you, three twenty five for me. I would probably. Like, I don't think I want to clean no more. I don't think I really. Wait, I, I think so you I would wanna, hire a cleaning yes, team? Yes, I think oh, I would. You officially would go bougie. Yes, I think I so would. So would they be Latinas? That way, of course. Okay. And would you work them hard? No, no. I mean, it's like, you know, basic things like just cleaning, whatever. Things that take up a lot of my time. You How know? many times a week would they come through? Or whenever they got shit to do, I mean, I don't mind putting it like a twenty-four hours. No, I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, obviously putting the load of dishes. I ain't that marana. Would they? I'll put in. Would they have? I'll I'll still make dinner, but I think I would have also a personal chef. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be broke in a year. (laughs) No, like I think a lot of times better than you. No, that's the problem. Sometimes I be cooking and I don't really. You know, I need to, you know, I need to be able to, it would be easy. Somebody just measures and shit. Like, I don't measure. An assistant? Like, no, no. Like, or I, I mean in regards to like eating, like eating better. Oh, you're making you like know, a like nutritionist. Like meal planning or something you mean like, like that. A, like a dietitian yes, or yes. nutritionist. That's different from a personal that, chef. That, yes. that, that. Well, so that you just want some, cooking you, you want someone to me. Cook. So that's a personal chef. That so you is get a, a nutritionist. Chef a nutri- and a nutritionist. Mm-hmm. One of these niggas that be on chopped high. I'm Balaje. And I grew up with Taiwanese parents, but my dad is from Jamaica and my mom is a tiger. You know, like those. You'd have one of them dudes in there <laughs> chefing up every morning for you. So. And then, you know, that way I can enjoy time when we could do things 
enjoy being rich is what you want to do. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. Oh, man. So Starting from the bottom so, down here. I mean, what are we going to do? We can't, hey. It's not like we can take trips. Hey. Uh, this is hypothetical. Because our son's going to go to school. Because he's still going to go to school. Well, are you going to keep him in the same district? We're going to buy a nice mansion in the IE? Like, what type of house are you try to buy? You'd want, like, a horse ranch one, huh? Nah, because... There, we need to have hay there, and then if we have no, hay I mean there, like those mice. ranch. I'm talking and about those I ain't ranch. I kind of have no mice in my neighborhood. No, I'm talking about those ranch style homes. You know the ones that have that big horseshoe when you drive up and all that kind of stuff. No, with the bet, with a lot of land in the back for your gardens or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That would be nice, but yeah, definitely buy properties. <sighs> definitely Chicago for me. So I could go drop in. I definitely would have Bulls. Uh, I definitely would have Bulls uh, season tickets. So when Corona's over, I would definitely drop in during basketball season. Have my spot in Chicago. Just drop in, watch a game with the fam. When Corona's over. And then uh, buy me a nice little spot in Atlanta. So I'd be out there with the Falcons. Drop in with the fam. Check it out. You know. And we get the little Laker joints for you and Tito. We'll go see them punk ass Lakers. I love Philly. And I definitely get your pop some Dodger tickets and shit. He be out there as a little getting letters and shit from the season ticket holders because he'd be wilding in, in uh in the season ticket uh, row. Um but yeah. We can dream, right? Mm-hmm. Dream a little dream. You know, we put it in the air. You know what tends to happen. What? It comes true when you wish upon the, a star. The good and the bad. The good and the bad. Hey, well, like we were saying earlier, as long as we can wake up tomorrow and do it again, mm-hmm. we blessed, right? True that. Yo, before we get out of here, I want to shout out my guy Benji Banks, One Hope Wine. Uh, he laced us with uh, two bottles of sparkling rose wine. Uh, my wife quickly moving up my wife's uh favorite list um so good looking muchisimas gracias go to onehopewine.com backslash benji b-e-n-j-i banks b-a-n-k-s uh he can be your wine consultant purchase from him one hope's really dope because it is very good wine but they also each bottle is associated with some sort of cause right on the bottle you get all the information all the facts of uh who that bottle is supporting um so we were really blown away when we looked at that a lot of different organizations that um i'm pretty sure if you are somebody who tries to give uh you know there's gonna be there's gonna be a wine there that is uh in line with uh with what you care about and speaking of that go to amazon prime and uh check out their give back program and uh by doing that you can select an organization we hear mimi's uh, shopping addiction helps um a place called home in south central uh, los angeles we've both volunteered there uh, her brother Eli used to go there and then turned into a volunteer as well. So a great program in the hood that gets these children access to things outside of uh, their neighborhood and just shows them shows them different uh, things in life, uh, giving them different experiences, art, literature. Uh, you know, it it's amazing. But uh, go to the Give Back on Amazon Prime and a portion of your monthly shopping expenditures go to your uh organization or go to the organization of your choice so it's a really easy way to go ahead and give back everybody right now is hurting um but also these charities are hurting as well so if you can you know give a little um at the end of the day it ain't that much trust so uh before we get out of here thank you again for listening to the moranis um we'll be back next week my love you want to take us out of here Adios. I'm Tiami. I'm Noemi. Oh, you said Noemi. You oh, cl- oh, yeah. You close the show, Noemi. I know you tired, tired. Nice Rockwell in the back. DeLorean Music. Check them out on YouTube.